Hey everybody, welcome back to Trip at Knots. It's really windy out here. It is really windy out here. But I thought I'd come down to the shore to kind of do this introduction of this, this particular video. It's a windy day. Look at that. Look at the waves. Shoo! Um, down here looking out over the James. Really pretty comfortable though. It's warm. So what's this video about? I am going to show you the tools that I use and the little, um, it's a mug with a bucket buddy on it that I use for toting my tools from here to there to there around the house and the different places that I work. And it's convenient for me. It's probably, it's, well, it's not traditional at all, at all. Not very sailorish, not very nautical, but it's working for me. My sister gave me that uh, for Christmas, and I thought, huh, what am I going to use this thing for? Put pens in it? No, I'm putting my tools in it. So let me go over that with you. Everybody, I'm going to show you around the house a little bit. Um, before I show you this frame, I, I finished the frame. Yay! I finished um, my eighth frame. I'm calling it the Celtic Cross frame because there's a Celtic Cross on it down at the bottom. Uh, one designed by uh, Dave Warlow. Thanks, Dave. But uh, for those that might be interested, I don't know. I'm always kind of wondering about uh, people's workshops and how they kind of where they work and and um, the stuff that they use to accomplish what they do. So let me show you around. I'm sitting out on the deck right now, as I often am. Here's my deck. Yeah, there's this table I'm going to be using. I use this for a lot of different stuff, but we'll be tying mats on that. The chair that I do sit in I made that. And let's walk in here. The bird houses. There's my buddy Addison in there. Piggy. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, there's that bird. Dude, that's coming up at night right now. And all of it was back in the back taking a nap. He is a good boy, too. There are the bird houses. Over here, this is where I do a lot of work. This is my living room. That is a bird play area. There's an extra cycle that I'm going to start using so I can get rid of this fat gut. Uh, the rocking chair, which really has a purpose of holding this spool of quarter-inch line at the moment. And here's a bunch of paracord. I'm making uh, Apple Watch bands. But there's usually something sitting there because when I'm sitting here, I'm usually tying knots. And... TV tray is always sitting here with a bunch of junk on it and a book, maybe. So let me show you what all this is. This is, this was my dad's needle case. This is obviously a four ounce lead fish fishing, excuse me, sinker with an alligator clip attached to it. I will be making about, I don't know, 30 or 40 more of these for when I do sword mat on the ankle loom lighter my original marlin spike the one i just got from miko which i love and my fin fid from miko what else is in here i always uh keep some calipers around so when i'm doing uh multiple fancy work uh features. I like to measure them to make sure they're exactly the same. There is a pair of tweezers. 
here is my dad's Swedish fid. Gotta have some clippers, cutters. I like to have needle nose pliers around, as well as hemostats for small work. This is my set of lacing uh, needles. It's three different sizes and uh, they break down to a smaller size, each one of them. But each of these, I'm using one hand here to hold the camera so I can't take this apart. Well, maybe, maybe I can. Or maybe I can't. It's screwed in pretty tight. Anyway, right there is a, is a joint. There's a joint here. You can make it just this long or you can use the whole size and they thread in nicely um, so I bought these when I first started working with paracord actually and I think it's TACAMO Tacamo it's a good brand I think I paid about you know, 30, 30 or 40 bucks for these and what else? I think that's it. But it all fits in there nicely, so I can kind of carry this around the house, whether I'm working over there, or here, or over there. I can take all of the primary tools that I use in knotting with me really easily. This is my main workbench. Um, but, you know, I use all my workspaces, depending on what I need to be doing. Built this set of shelves, eh, maybe a year ago, to uh, put my spools of line on and various other categories, whether it's glue and canvas. There's the library of knotting books. And various jigs that I use. And then uh, when I started doing these videos, I guess the, I don't know, probably the first 20 videos I didn't have proper lighting. I don't know, online somewhere, Amazon or something, I bought some lighting and that's really been beneficial. Uh, so that you can see what I'm doing when I'm doing videos. These are, uh, I'm actually, because I just retired and I'm starting to do shows, I'm doing a festival called Second Sundays in Williamsburg, which is every second Sunday. And I'm just making a bunch of different things. Who knows what people will buy or what they have an interest in. I came up with these. These are, um, well, I made a couple of these and gave them to my sisters for Christmas and they really liked them and then some of their friends wanted them. And I was like, huh, what the heck? So I put these on uh, a fancy base with cork on the bottom as basically an executive desk item for somebody that's nautically oriented. And, uh, you know, obviously it's an eight point star knot with a fancy crown, but you can also use it as a, as a pen holder. So multi-purpose, it can be either just something that you want to look at or a pen holder. Then uh, there's a mat. And there's the same thing in Manila. These pictures back here are pictures that I am going to frame next month. Here's some leftover coach whipping for the next project. This is um, one of Dave Warlow's Celtic cross designs that I didn't use this one. I'm going to show you the frame here in a few. But I actually used smaller line and tripled it instead of doubling it like on this one. But anyway, here's my stuff. So I finally finished my eighth frame. I've been working on it for months. Too long, probably. But nevertheless, I finished it. And uh, I'm calling it the Celtic Cross Frame. So I'm going to take you through step by step the stages of making that frame. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. something to you guys so I'm in the middle of editing this video right 
the one you're watching. And I realized that I had completely forgotten to do the tutorial on this uh, six strand double Celtic Senate. So, sheesh, I had to stop, set all this lighting up, set up my tripod, cut some lines so I could do the tutorial. And then that's what I'm gonna show you now. I swear, really? All right, so this, and I'm gonna put um, some text in the bottom of this uh, showing where I got this Senate. Uh, there's a guy online that has a uh, YouTube channel called C by S Paracord and more. He did a six strand Celtic bar uh, bracelet. And I saw that and I thought, ha, I'm going to do something with that. So I doubled it. So I've got 12 strands, three, six, nine, 12. And here's how you tie this. Four, under two, over four, and then flip this over. This is how I think of it. Two under four, over two. And flip that over. Four under two, over four. And there's something weird about this too that I'll show you in a minute. The way this tensions, I'm actually just gonna tie it like this, but what I'm gonna use is the other side, the bottom side from how I'm tying it. So I flip that over to the right. Two under four over two. This is about as simple as it gets, although you are kind of alternating what you do. Flip that over. I always wanna be starting from the left, just in my mindset. So then four under two over four. Give them flat, John. Then flip this over, two, under four, over two. This is not the hardest line, but it ties pretty nicely, actually. So watch. I don't wanna let that go, hold on. I think I can pull this out. So really what I'm gonna use is this side. Of course, it's gotta be tensioned properly, but does that make sense? That's what's on the frame now as my Celtic uh, bar Senate. I like it. It fit my theme.
There are very few times in life when I'm more nervous than at this point. Gluing features, especially noodly complex features down to a frame. If you make a mistake, there's no coming back. There we go. It's gluing. <laughs>